we have a MacBook Pro. Uh, the description is a uh, critical update error, um, 1855. This is 2016-2017 uh, touch bar. Um, so for this machine, um, with the critical update, uh, with critical update error, so you have um, three multiple, multiple, um, a multiple channel to look out for. So uh, number one, it's you want to look out. Uh, you want to try to reinstall the software first and uh, to see. Um, you want to look at um, the, the, the 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 touch bar. Um, which is obviously uh, the Bridge OS. Uh, you want to look at uh, also the lifeboat if it's not connected. Um, that will also I give you that will also give you no access. And uh, usually uh, with the critical update, what will happen is you will be able to put the device into the code, uh, uh, into safe mode, but you will not be able to put the device in the regular mode. And obviously um, the touch bar will not uh, will not work. So. Uh, I I did ask. I mean, this 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 has been as this has been pre-assessed. So I asked uh, if the software has been done, and then I was told yes, the software was done. And uh, uh, no, the software wasn't done. And the reason why they didn't bother to do the software was because they found traces of liquid inside the device. So uh, so that's why they did not bother to uh, to to. to go through the software process and then usually when this happens the touch bar will not be active I mean the touch bar is not going to work and also you will not be able to put uh, the machine uh, to, to, to your desktop so the device is starting uh, so let's just connect our charger and uh, to charge it to, 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 to quicken up the process let's try to do a clear and reset We have had good feedback, I'm waiting for the machine to respond. Hmm, this point is quite slow. By different port. Let's try again, see if we can get the clear message back. Quite slow. Okay, while well, we're waiting for it, let's take the back screws out because uh, uh, it was mentioned that they saw traces of liquid inside the machine. Let's, let's see how it looks inside.
Okay, let's close that out. The board looks uh, fairly clean. This is the lifeboat I was talking about. So when this when this is not on on uh, when this is not on the boat, you also not have access to build the device. Uh, the board looks uh, fairly clean. And then usually, uh, especially with the with the fifteen inches, twenty six and twenty seventeen, when they have critical error. Uh, you have to go check uh, the T1 section of the board. Uh, okay, the board looks somewhat clean and uh, starting but it's super slow. So let's do something. Let us disconnect the, the battery and start the machine with a charger. Let's see if it will start. Yeah, once you're able to do the back, the, the PRM reset, the backlight should uh, okay, set back in. We have um, trackpad feedback, so the machine is not starting yet. is quite slow okay so even when it starts it really really delays so uh, okay seems like it's power cycling let's check this port here Give it getting a uh, backlash feedback. Just like uh, just like I said about the, the newer design, so the fans are not going to necessarily uh, speed when the machine is in SSD. So the fan will start and then stop and then wait until the machine heats up, then the fan will kick in. Okay, so not only um, are we not getting the device to boot, we also we basically struggle to even get a device to start. So let's take the board out and get an understanding of what's happening. The board is quite warm, which which is very much suggestive that the, the, the device is in a SO state. But um, it, it's it's just struggle struggle to start. So let's take the board out and get an understanding of what's happening. And then we'll take it from there. This is a, this is a 2015, uh, 2016, 2017. Uh, uh, Magic Pro, it's a torch bar. This, this, uh, this one had this one didn't have the T2 chip, this one had the T1 chip. So, I put introduced the T2 chip in 2018. So, in the, 20, in the 2018 Magic Pro, uh, the similar form factor. They, they uses the G2 chip, unlike uh, this one that uses the T1 chip. So, of the section of the board that we will be checking also is going to be the T1 chip. The section of the board, and also because we have delay in the machine starting, we will also be concerned, we will also check uh, the NAN circuitry, which is uh, the onboard SSD. Because of the delay, basically, that we get in the device starting. And then overall, we see what else we can find on the board that may relate to the issue that we are currently having. You have to you have to understand that the touch bar it does not. What do you mean? Touch bar is programming separate from the 
Now, but the torch bar, uh, it's powered by the bridge OS. Not, not the macro, not the, not the, not the macro OS, the bridge OS. So if the torch bar is faulty, it may cause your machine to restart, randomly restart. But what we have in now, we are not at a point where the torch bar is active yet. So we, we, the device is, uh, we get trackpad feedback for the device as we start. So, so when you're taking out this board, you be very careful to touch ID and cable not to, not to break it. Aha, uh -huh. so see signs of liquid on this side. And then also, we also have to take, uh, let's take out the, uh, the DC jacks just to be sure we don't have liquid on them. Uh, you see, very important. So this we have liquid on this. Because we, we realized that when we were trying to, on one side of the board, we were not getting uh, proper communication, but on the other side of the board, we were getting communication. Okay. So this is fine, but this does definitely need to be replaced. Okay, so that is uh, that. Let's. Let's open up the board view. Uh, so this is uh, 80.0.0.0.2.9.2.3. Uh, 80.0.0.0.9.2.3. Let's see that. This is something 17. 80.0.0.0.9.2.3. It is zero 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 nine two okay. It is zero 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 nine two three. Uh, so I go three two nine. Hello. Good yourself. Yeah, uh, Peter is going to be here. Zero, zero, three, two. Yes, Peter will be here. Peter? Yes. You, he, didn't, he didn't send a message to you. No. Okay, I'll send it to you. Okay. Okay, uh, okay Peter will be here. What is? Peter will be here. Not a problem. Okay, but I'm not going to go there, though. Eh? Oh, then it's fine. You can send. Yeah, it's fine. You can send. Once he's outside, once he's outside the building, uh, he just let us know, and then we'll go. We'll go give it to him. Okay, I'm gonna book it now. They're gonna. They, I think they're like one minute away. Is that right? Um, uh, is it possible if you book it for like, a, a, let's say about twenty minutes time from now, just to about twenty minutes time? Okay, so I'll book it at half past five. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, half past five. I'll message you after this. Uh, send you a WhatsApp. Just I'm booking it now. And okay. I'll, that's okay. okay. That's okay. okay Thank you. Bye. Okay. So the board is out. Uh, so we, we we did spot liquid, which is on the other side of the board, and that's also going to be the side of the T1 chip. Uh, yeah. So uh, this is the T1 chip. This is uh, the regulator for the T1 chip, the power regulator for the T1 chip. Uh, so if you have a problem here, you definitely will have uh, the issue that we have now where we have uh, the devices randomly starting. And then this is, uh, this is one of uh, the USB-C controller port. Uh, so uh, let's see if we have, let's check this cards there, they don't look good. See if the caps are shorter in any way.
Okay, that's good. Uh, perhaps I'm not sure that. So first and first, let's try to clean that section of the hole, and then we see what needs to be addressed. Let's uh, see that U9 U3900 is the T1 chip, and then U4200 it's uh, the regulator for the T1 chip. Uh, so basically, um, uh, so you get power uh, U4200, you get power to uh, to the U3900. So let's see what let's see. Uh, it's, this is cap here. Doesn't look good. Let's see if that cap is shorted. Okay, we don't have a short. And then uh, what about uh, this cap here? Do we have a short there? Okay, we don't have a short there. So, what we want to do is uh, We'll have to reflow. Okay. Now this is also the backlight section. See. Yeah, that's why we need. Yeah. 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 Proper backlight. So that's a bad. Uh, right now we, we we just want to get the board started first, and then the backlight can always be looked at. So what we do is I will give it a bit of a let's reflow that shape. That cap it's fine, but it may fail in future, so it's better we replace it. Okay, so for the for U forty two hundred, we have to reduce our heat. We don't want to. Um, so two things we're gonna do. First, we will try to reflow, and then. And then that this resistor has to go. Is that uh, that's actually an inductor that needs to go? So we have to put in another one. No, not that. I'm talking about this one. Yes. So it is uh, this resistor. Let's try here. That needs to go. Doesn't work here. And the pads are fine, but uh, yeah, they look good. So what we want to do is. Uh, we want to give it a slight reflow. And also those caps here, it's safer to, to remove them. They may be fine now, but they may fail in future, so better to replace them. And also this ones here. Uh, let's just replace them. Okay. Okay, now let's uh, replace the components that we are taking out. Um, these caps also have to go because they may fail in future. Yeah. Okay. Now we get a donor board to replace the components that we have uh, taken out. First, let's apply solder.
and also this so okay so to go so when i come back we'll continue we can we can go it's fine so um uh, well, let's put back all of the components that we have taken out so the, the, we are not going to replace it for the 200 just yet we did a reflow on it we will replace the components around it and then test if it misbehaves, then we may have to replace it. Uh, okay. Start from here. Too bad it doesn't look good. Yeah, we may just have to replace them. When you have a capacitor that's that that's that, that looks to be fa uh, that looks to be um, failing because it's corroded, it's always best to replace it now because otherwise what's gonna happen is uh, uh, after some time it may fail and then create a short on you on your circuit and then you have a non-working machine which can fit you. So Good and please.
we can we can't just replace you for 200 now or see if it works what do you think let's see if it works first uh, No, that's uh, basically the, the chip that they give it that sends uh, power to your T1 chip, the 3900. Okay. That's your Apple. So that is the that is the pre version of the T2. I'm not sure you know. That's the three versions of the G2. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how it begins. <clears throat> so uh, let's see. We're supposed to have. Uh, 1.8 volt here, and then we're supposed to have 1.8 volt in that as well. 1.8 volt, and then we're supposed to have 1.8 volt. Okay, let's, let's, let's check what we have. Okay, it's not Five volt line, do you have five volt? Yes, you have five volt. It's a PPTC in, twenty volt or five volt. Mm. PPTC in, okay, let's, let's, let's check the other one. Okay, twenty volt. And then, by the way, you see, uh, you see the motor that you set it to twenty volt, and then you measure twenty volt. If the voltage is greater, it's, it then it tells you OL. If the voltage you're measuring is greater than what you set it to, yeah. it, will, it will show you OL. Uh, so that's 20 volt. Okay. Uh, now let's see what we have here. 1.8 or 1.8. Mm. So that's at uh, zero point seven volts. That's lower than one point eight. Okay, let's see. Mm. You may have to replace it. Okay, let's do this. Zero point seventy-five. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to let's go to the schematic, uh, and then we get a, an idea of. Uh, so it's eighty zero dash zero nine two three zero zero nine two three. Okay, so let's say U4200, U4200, uh, what pin is that? It's, it's, uh, pin 60. Okay, let's actually look at that pin, L4205, let's see. Okay, so that's L4205. Uh, 
So we are supposed to get 1.8 volts from that, but we're getting less than that. Let's just confirm that again. Mm, okay, so in this state, we expect the device to power on, kind of, but uh, the device is not. Okay, there's no point testing it. Let's just replace. Uh, yeah, because we're supposed to have we're supposed to have one point something, but we're getting less than that. So. Is it uh, two the same way? This is it. So this is an inductor. It's like a fuse. Yeah. Do I need to push this a bit? No. So, um, so what you're measuring, what we are, what we are measuring, that is the output of the inductor here. Yeah. You understand? So we are getting zero point something volt instead of uh, one point eight. So zero point something volt is it's, it's very very low. Now let's just check uh, some of other voltages that are that are, that we basically that we're supposed to get from the chip. So three point three volt that is going to go to the chip. I had an accident with the car eh? this morning. I get 3.3 volt is present. Let's see. We have uh, that. Let's see. Okay, that's present. Then second one. Let's see, is it present? Zero point six. Let's see if our zero point six volt is present. Yeah, that's present. And, uh, Nine point seven. That we already checked is present. That's present. That's fine. And then let's check zero point eight voltage. Let's see if that's present. Mm. So I see zero point three, zero point three five. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's that's low. So let's just let's just not uh, let's just replace it. Uh, yeah, now as you can see, zero point. Let's just replace it. Put in another one. U forty two hundred U forty two two O one. That's fine. It's not it's not looking bad. Hmm. Okay, you can see that uh my U forty two hundred has a bit in the needed, and that was definitely a problem. Okay. So let's install another U4200. Let's clean that section of the door first. That looks like a missing part. That is that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, number five, the fifth one. Okay, and that's fine. Right. I'm talking about this part here. 
with that. Yeah. But the good thing is the other part is the same. So there are two. So even if one is not, and so it's the other one. Yeah. So number two can work. Does it work as the same? Yeah, number two. Yeah, number two is same. Yeah, so it's connected. And number two, number yeah, forty-nine. So seventy-three, eighty-five, yeah, and seven, seventy-two, eighty-four. Okay. So. I need to be very careful with this part so that I don't rip any part up. Okay. It will also be best to put the place for the two O one. Yes, you like the good old uh place that also. So, you see, with, uh, with this, especially in this section of the board, you have to be very careful not to give it too much of heat. Otherwise, you avoid my bubble up, and uh, <laughs> you will uh, really hate yourself.
And if you if you wanna if you wanna really help yourself in this affair, you try as much as you can to to save as many donor boards as possible. Say from like I really really invest in donor boards. Um, like I've got lots of them, so that uh, uh, whenever I need uh, components, I don't have to you know wait. So when you replace a component like this one, the first thing you want to do is you want to be sure that you don't have a short. Uh, you don't want to find out after applying power to the board. Because <laughs> uh, what's going to happen is uh, you blow your chip and then you have blown parts underneath your chip. Uh, so we need to replace that. Let's quickly put that also. The backlight chip, uh, should we replace the backlight chip one time? What do you guys see? Yeah, because uh, I don't know, or maybe it was the components around it, but it was leaking up or something. So we just replace it one time. Okay. Yeah. And obviously the reason why we doing this is because of the liquid around it. So ordinarily if you don't have backlight, you don't just go replace backlight chip. Yeah. Uh, but also this one we did have it, it didn't seem like the backlight had issue, but because also that behavior we got from it, that can be a behavior from the settings. Because say for example, uh, reduce brightness, uh, I mean to reduce the brightness of your screen, that is a, that is a function that is um, part of the operating system. You don't reduce brightness, for example, while you are in your um, disk utility. You don't reduce brightness. You, 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 uh, but then, uh, when you are when you are in your operating system, that's when you have functions to reduce brightness and and, and, and all of those functions. So, when you when the when the when the device starts to load uh, into the operating system, you know, um, the the settings usually will kick in. So you know. Um, so sometimes if the client, if, if for some reason the device, uh, uh, the device is said to have low, uh, low brightness, so when the device is about to go to that, you can, uh, you'll be able to see it. But uh, this one was, was kind of misbehaving, yeah? It starts and then immediately the, the backlight goes to so. Exactly, because the machine also wasn't, and, 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 and also beyond that, if you see that the machine, the board also was misbehaving. Uh, yeah, yeah, the board will start almost when it feels like, even though they said uh, it, it, the description was a critical update, we didn't see it even get to that level. Okay, uh, while we're waiting for the boot board to cool off, let's check for short on and around our U4200. Very important, you don't want to... So, uh, one of the ways you can check for the short around U4200 is basically check out the outputs, which is through the inductors, which is uh, where it says the buck. Uh, so, that, for example, to check out the short on this line, we check out the short, we check, we click on the other side, which is pin 2, because this is more like a wire. Uh, so whatever it's there is also going to be presented on the other side. So let's see if I will show it there. Hopefully we don't. Let's see. Uh, is that it? Uh, okay, that's going to be fine. Let's check the other side. Let's check. Uh, so this we can check the sh for sure on the other side of it. So, and then sometimes we show there, and then here. So then sometimes we show there, and then this side. Uh, 
that that's not good. Okay, but let's see what what are we seeing with zero point eight volts? Nah, that's very, that's quite low. Let's just uh, confirm that on another board. Uh, yeah, can confirm that on this board. You see that? So yeah, and then this side. Let's check that again. Yeah, so 0 0.1, that is definitely low. Uh, let's check that again. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's low. And then here. Okay, so what we should uh, see, it's very important that we check. You can change the, uh, the option, which is you just have it pressed down. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Uh, try to reduce the heat. No. Okay, so that that's not that's not the final. So we do that, and then uh, so usually when you do that, sometimes you get a build up of soda underneath it. So you may have to remove it again, and then check it for the final time. But the first thing first, let's see what if we have any difference first before. Okay, we're gonna have a short there, and then this side. Okay, that's different now. Let's see on the other side. Uh, yes. Now we have. Okay, let's just check something. Yeah, that's let's say that's a low voltage, zero point six volt. Yeah, but then let's see. Yeah, but we don't get this. And then this, let's see what are we getting here? Sometimes also when the board is still warm, it may affect the readings. Uh -huh. And then another thing I want to quickly mention. So whenever you when you're working on a board like this. So let's say, uh, so if you have to remove a component on this side, be very careful that your heat is not too high, otherwise it may affect this component, and then you see balls coming out of the component. And then when that happens, you, say you, you just have to replace that. So let's give it some time. Let's check again. If we still have a, if we have a low, Okay, that's, uh, that seems fine. Okay, that seems fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This, this diode mode, just to be sure. Hear it. Two, five, five. Yeah, pretty much. That's uh, yeah, but uh, it's a little <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what do we have in our voltage now. Uh, Let's see, 
is a we have voltage on our board you can check on our 5 volt line yes I have voltage on our board now let's see initially we're supposed to get a 1.8 1.7 inch here let's see uh, okay first of all let's see uh, what we have a 3.3 volt let's see if that's present mm, nah that's a problem that's a problem, okay. Uh, no, let's just try something. Okay, we have a problem there because uh, our board is not starting. So let's take it out. And uh, we have to reinstall it hmm. it doesn't look bad to balance the board. Okay. Let's, uh, Give the board time to cool off. Uh, U4200. Let's just see on the other side of the board. I hope nothing. Yeah, okay. Let's check for a short. We did, we checked for a short there, but we didn't check for a short around the back like chief. Let's just uh, let's see black light here. Okay, fine. Okay. And uh, so if that doesn't work, we just have to replace it and put in another one. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's check it out now.
let's see what we have. Do we have 20 votes in the previous decision? Okay, yes, we have 20 votes. That's what it says. Just show you the yes, 20 votes. Okay, we have 20 votes. Uh, are you able to see that? Yep. Okay. Is it clear like this? Or? Yep. Okay, now let's check our output. What do we have? Hmm. I think we just have to replace put in another one because uh, our UFO 200 is not going. Uh, okay, this is actually, uh, let's see. No, it's nothing. Okay. Wait, okay. Let's see something. We don't have voltage here. Uh, because that's because the device is not starting. Because uh, we don't have anything here. Uh, okay, let's try something. Let's see. Zero volt. Zero volt. So we have an RPP bus. Uh, let's see. And the device is not starting. So the first thing we want to do is uh, let's remove U4200 completely and see uh, let's see what happened to U4200 in here. Let's see. Start the board without you for the Did you see that guy? Okay. Let's see what we get. Yeah, you see, our oh, E4200 is bad, so let's uh, get another one. Uh, this looks cracked on one side. <laughs> see that? Yeah. Yeah, but let's see if it's going to work. <laughs>
change. Okay, see if we have a short switch back to continuity mode. Are you able to pick it up like that? Is it clear like that? And then like this? Yeah. It's better like this. Yeah, much better. Mm, okay, let's see a spectrum it to So length is increasing, that's good. Let's see. And that's 0 0.6 root 9. The resistance will be okay. Let's do the time for two hours. If that doesn't work, uh, do we have any other? I think we do have, uh, yeah, I think we do have, this is a T2 board, uh, this is a 2018-2019 board, uh, C and U are not present, and yeah, this is present, so yes, you can use this, an elixir thing, Now this looks really quick, so we can use that. At least we have a spare in case this one doesn't work. Okay, so now let's see what happens. The channel connected. In first, I have PPDC in. Okay, we have three volts, PP342. Okay, we have 3.3 volts. Now let's see the output. Let's check our output. We have uh, 1.7, 1.6, 1.8. Yeah. 1.8 that's better and let's check this output here we're supposed to have 0 0.8 volt do we have 0 0.8 volt uh, seem a little bit low 0 0.2 0 0.3 volt hmm Okay, and zero point six. That's fine. And then you uh, one point one volt. That's fine. When I my my concern is this. Uh, why are you? Why are you? 0.3 uh, Okay The modeler you know, if you check to the chip where is it going? Let's see uh, Let's see Let's see 0.3 That's slow Yeah, it's 900 that's slow. Uh, the device is going to start in this in this state, but uh, you will expect that's 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 slow. It's three point three. That's slow. 
let's check it again. Okay, let's restart. Let's see. Let's restart the device. Let's check again. Let's see. Still the same thing. That's part of it. Okay. Let's at least see. Let's see how the device behaves. Let's see how the device behaves and then. I don't have to connect all the cables, but at least uh, the critical ones or the, the required ones for the purpose of our testing. Uh, HID is already meter. Okay, I already need that. So, we need that also. Uh, that, that, put a speaker. We connect one side of the speakers. Battery screw, let's put the battery screw in place. Okay, let's put the battery data cable connected. Uh, just purposes, testing purposes. Right now, we are. See very much busy with the device. Let's see if we actually get we have checked out feedback. Nothing on the screen yet. Waiting, nothing on the screen yet. Start the device without the battery. The 
We do have trackpad feedback. The device is making its way into SO, but uh, we don't have anything on the screen. So, device is not, there's no display, there's no post. Okay, so let's try to address that line. Uh, 0.3 volt instead of 0 0.8 volt is quite low. Mm, yeah, let's, let's check that out again. Very careful around this post ID not to break the table. Confirm that we have three volt zero point. Okay, let's go with this puzzle. That's fine, but here we have hmm. now it's zero point five. Uh, okay, that's a little higher than before, and then the other ones zero point five. What's happening? Yeah, it was yeah, that's that's a little four point seven. That's too low. That's too low. Uh, it's it's uh try this again. So it could this could be uh this could be that the chip itself it's not good. I mean obviously because of uh or it could be from the way it installed. So let's uh let's try to redo it. So if we have any changes. Let's just see that we have sure. Let's just give you some time to cool up. And then once the repair is done, obviously we'll clean out the bulk. For now, we're not really going to do that. So, after this, if it still doesn't work, we just have to replace uh, replace it with another one. Uh, we obviously we did see a crack on it, which is a thing of concern. So. Just give it some time.
let's try again Okay, let's see what do we have? Don't go still. Okay, we can do go. Uh, 1.8, 1.6, 1.7. Okay, 0. Point, uh, One point one gold. This is the present. Yeah, that's right. And the uh, next, let's see. Zero point six. Let's see. Zero point five nine. That's about fine. Then let's check. The one that we definitely missing zero point uh, eight gold. Yeah, that's fine. That's better. Zero point seven nine ish. That's good. Yeah. So that that's it. Better. So now let's uh, check out our. Let's check it out and see what we have. It looks better. We have an improvement. Screw. Yeah, pretty bad though. The battery screw. Okay. And by the way, I don't need to have the battery screw there. Uh, I mean, I don't need them to, the battery to start the machine. But uh, yeah, I'm just putting the battery. Just connecting the battery. It's not like I the machine is not going to start without the battery. I have to put in a little one of the speakers. Okay. Back to cable. And also, by the way, um, like the new design, just also, it's not like the older design that the fan is by now. So, it's also only when 
the machine heater will be fine as fun. Okay, let's see. There's no chime, there's nothing. Okay, so okay, so as you guys can see, we now have a working machine and then we have a touch bar. So the fact that the touch bar it's 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 there, the fact that the touch bar is working, that basically because the T1 chip basically uh, powers the touch bar. So the T1 which has which is uh, which runs on bridge uh, this world runs on bridge OS. So the fact that this is working and yeah so before now what we will have it's uh, this machine would say that a uh, critical update uh, it, it basically that's what they say but when you go to the machine it is just misbehaving so, so as you can see the machine is starting now it's putting fine we have our touch bar on which is a really good thing uh yeah that's that was an interesting one so we started the we start the machine we have a uh, chime uh, I have an Apple logo the machine boots just fine. Uh, yeah, so that was a long repair. It's an hour plus. Uh, you can say one hour six minutes. Wow, that's and true. Yes, and we will max two hours. Alhamdulillah, eventually we have a, we have the machine uh, up and running. Our touch bar is on. That's really good. I, I really like that the touch bar is on, and and then and the fact that we also able to. So usually with critical updates, what would happen is uh, you will not be able to boot the machine uh, when you when you go to regular boot, but you can boot the machine uh, to safe mode. Yeah. But in safe mode, obviously, oh yeah, but our bar button is not connected. Okay, so so what you're gonna do now is uh, the the next job. Obviously, it's gonna be taken over by Peter. So. Uh, but before we just end the video, I just want to clean the board and then you guys will also see how we do the, the cleaning. Uh, and, and then, and then uh, also, also uh, you guys will also notice that most of our repair method is old school. Like, <laughs> and this is the very old school uh, type of repair. I mean, there's no fancy tool, there's no this machine, that machine. Basically, just just basics, you know. Uh, so, which is uh, you do not need um, so much to actually get the job done. You can you can achieve or you can complete get the job done with the very little that you have. As you guys can see, what you have is just sodium <laughs> iron, the the, the 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 hot air, and that's it. <laughs> and then obviously, this, so this is uh, so you do not really need. Um, uh, I mean, when you have this, the fancy tools, it makes the job easier. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, but, but but then um, another thing I feel like it's uh, it also it almost makes you dependent also. Like you feel like oh, if I don't have X Y Z, I can't work. So we can see that we are actually are using the very basics and we're getting the work done. So uh, if you you want to do this work and uh, you, you have no excuse you can't say oh because i don't have the money to buy so and so machine my friend you can't buy a workstation the workstation is it's, you know so and 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 we have been doing this for a very long time so um and we have always stick to the basic uh, basic tools we we've always tried to use uh very basic tools uh and uh yeah I remember back in the days uh, in 2013 ish, but then I was I was a Windows technician, so I wasn't Ooh. a Windows technician. Oh. Yeah, at first before, because I only did the switch to Mac in 2016. That's when I switched to Mac. Uh, oh, going to 20, 207, 28, 29. Wait, no. Uh, two seven two eight two nine. Uh, yeah, all of those times is two windows two seven two eight two nine two ten two eleven two twelve two thirteen two fourteen windows two fifteen. Uh, until obviously, uh, even the first the first time I got a job on Mac was they actually took me in, uh, on the on the on the basis of me being a windows, yeah. But then like now, we don't really want a Windows technician. We would like you to 
since you do board level repair, we would like you to use that expertise for us on Max. And uh, it took time, eh? <laughs> it took time. I mean, I think I got my foot in in 2020 ish. 2019, 2020 ish. Yeah, I think 2018, 2019, 2020. That's when I finally got my foot in on Mac. It's, it, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it took time. It took time. It took time before I could get my foot in. At some point, I, I was going to quit inside now, and I, I mean, this is just too much. But also because I, another thing was that uh, I didn't want to settle for less. I, I didn't want to, you know, just be a basic technician. Now nah, I didn't want that. I, I wanted to, to really, really... Uh, Raise the bar. And, uh, comes with its price also, you know. Yes. Yeah. But uh, I'm really not today. You see that uh, you see the fruit. That is clean. Now let's check the other side. Oh, by the way, this it's not a special chemical, it's just this. <laughs> so it's it's not special. No. So don't think it's like oh like no, it's not a special chemical. So you can you can grab that from any hardware shop. So and then you will good to go. It's very good to clean your board, you know. Uh, technicians don't like it when they receive a device and then it flocks all over the place. They it's something they generally don't like. It makes them almost give up before they start, you know. Also myself, when I find a board with you know flocks all over the place, I just don't like that idea. Okay, so pretty much uh, that's our board. Looking better than what it was. Just gonna give it a bit of a dusting. Uh, this. Yeah. That's it. So this will go through the standard uh, testing phase. It gets assembled, get tested, and uh, yeah, that's a completed repair. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.